my channel. My name is Jamie and this is Let's Talk About It. So today I am here with a Martha Nelson Thomas doll. Guys, if you don't know what a Martha Nelson Thomas doll is, it is the original Cabbage Patch Kid. Now I do this because a lot of people think this is a Cabbage Patch Kid. Um, I see them being sold as Cabbage Patch Kids online and I have to write people. I swear, I spend half my time writing people on Facebook Marketplace in Mercari and I tell them that this is not a Cabbage Patch Kid doll. So don't sell it as a Cabbage Patch Kid doll. Let the person know that they're getting a Martha and Nelson Thomas doll. Like I'm so passionate about this story. Mine is the vinyl faced clown one. But this is not what the original looked like. So the story goes. It was the 1970s and Martha Nelson Thomas is from a small town in Kentucky called Mayfair. And she went to college. She was an art student and she was getting into making soft sculpture uh, dolls. She called them doll babies. And nobody was creating these kind of dolls at the time because it was like rag dolls and, you know, bobbies, you know, all kind of new plastic face dolls. So she was trying to, like, you know, reinvent the doll, they were saying. And she came out with these soft sculptured. And they looked like little people and they were all individual. Every doll was like a form of her self expression. Everyone looked a little bit different. From the next. In the 1970s, there was a fair in Kentucky called the Kentucky Guild of Arts and Craftsmen Fair, and uh, she attended and she sold some of her dolls. She had an adoption concept with the doll, and she like gave you the doll, and the doll had like a letter to you, and it said what they like and what they like to do, and it was like so sweet and like never heard of. So Xavier Robert comes along and falls in love with this idea, buys a bunch of them, decides to sell them on his own, resell them, but like so much more money. And Martha Nelson Thomas heard about this and told him, you know, I, I kind of want my dolls back. I don't like that you're doing this. This is not, I'm not about the money. And he said, I'm going to do this without you. So either get on board with me or I'm going to make my own. And she was like, Obviously, she didn't want to work with him. And he went off and went to produce the Cabbage Patch Kit. Now, his were soft patch to begin with. And he went on saying that he went to art school and he designed it. That, that's a fib. He didn't design it. Like, he made in, like, like, I know, like, he backed up later on and said, like, he had grabbed inspiration from these dolls. But he straight up told her, like, if you don't do it, I'm going to. Now, that's not nice. But... I still love him for this reason. Now, Martha Nelson Thomas said that she made these dolls only to adopt to children that she had in mind. That means she never wanted to mass produce the dolls. She was from the far sides of Kentucky and the dolls would have never made it to us. Me, I'm from New England. This wouldn't have made it to me. This would have never made the Cabbage Patch Kids would have never got out, is what I'm saying. Everybody knows on this channel that I love Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, his concept was a little different when he went on to mass market his. He started to mass market the vinyl heads. That's when they came into the scene in 1983, and that's the craze we all know of. Basically, he kind of like took her adoption type of like idea, but put a stamp on the butt. And she didn't really like the, the tush stamp. She didn't think there was a place that a baby should be stamped. And she just wanted it to be more like uh, just your baby, not the same as everybody else's. Which, hence, she didn't want to mass market her dolls. His concept was um, Xavier Roberts um, stumbled upon a cabbage patch and a bunny bee. Um, which is kind of like the stork um, type of like idea to it and they give you a cabbage patch and come on I love cabbage patch kids so he had other you know um, ideas in mind and you know thank god he did because he came up with the cabbage patch kid the dolls went from being doll babies to cabbage patch kids so the concept was totally different he decided to make the faces different he went a little different with the nose he went a little different with the cheeks. I mean, this has paint on it, but without the paint, that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, they are, they are a little different. These are the um, hands, a little different 
um, there's no like indent on the thumb and these also were a lot like a crafty thing like she sent it as like a kit so you can make it yourself a lot of them that are out there right now like when you look them up somebody else made them at home like they're not ones that were bought like this I don't even think this one was bought I don't know I can't really tell um, it just says uh, 1984 I bought these little roller skates and put him in a clown outfit because he came naked. Martha Nelson Thomas settled out of court for an undisclosed amount and basically she said her kids college fund was all taken care of so that's good for Martha Nelson Thomas but it must have been gut-wrenching to watch her idea be such a hit in the whole world. It's the most popular doll I feel in the whole world. She gets like little to no credit for it. Um, I am very, very happy that she came out with the idea for the doll babies. I am very happy that Xavier Roberts really felt like he needed to get that doll out to the masses. Because if, um, if he didn't, we would never know of the Cabbage Patch Kid. So like, are we mad at Xavier Roberts or are we not? You see what I mean? You can't really hate the guy. So I love them both. I love all artists and I'm very happy that they both came out with the doll. Just know if you're looking for a Cabbage Patch Kid and it looks like this, it's not a Cabbage Patch Kid. It is a Martha Nelson Thomas doll and you should be proud to own one because she was the originator. I will leave a video down below on um, this if you want to get deeper into it. Um, there's a lot of information on this certain article that I really enjoyed um, watching. Plus it shows all of the Cabbage Patch Kids too. And mine's in there. You can see mine. So if you want one of these for yourself, I will find one and leave the link down below and you can own one of these for your collection. So if you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.